Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Unbiased Unboxing. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the second printing of Atlantic Chase. So, this is a big heavy box with, I'm sure, a big heavy gameplay inside, but let's go ahead and see what the components look like this time. Okay, folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and if you have, I do really appreciate that. So looking at the back of the box here, it's absolutely standard fare for the GMT side of things. You've got a kind of a game information situation where it shows your complexity, your solo uh, solitaire um, suitability, what you've got from players, etc., and then a little bit of the game and components. So pretty standard there. That's the way it always is for GMT titles for the most part. Okay. I know this one's going to have a heck of a learning curve, but I actually did preview the rules a little bit, and they certainly seem to be laid out a lot easier than some of the other GMT rule books that I've seen. So I'm pretty hopeful that it won't be too bad, because if you look at some of the coins that are out there or whatever else, those things are there. Well, they can be tough to read. All right. I also know that there are a lot of rules and scenarios and printed stuff in here, so we're going to have... <laughs> A lot to go through, and here you can clearly see what I'm talking about. Holy cow! So that is a ton of rules. Now, here's the rule book. Uh, I thought, from a standpoint of like figures and layout and large text and everything, this was again very, very good from. The consideration of some of the other rule books that I've seen. This thing should r read a lot easier. It's still a lot to go through, still 64 pages, but that's going to be, I think, easier than a 32 page rule book with teeny weeny font. It's really tough to, to look at. Now, here we've got the tutorial. So, this has got a bunch of scenarios in it as far as how to go, how to play, and I plan on doing all of them because I really want to learn the system and not have an issue there. Um, with regards to rule of ambiguity. Then you have these advanced battle rules. We'll see if they're worth all of the additional things that you've got going on. Um, so we'll see. You know, I, I'm not gonna necessarily jump right into these until I learn and understand the game, then I would take a look at reading them. And then the solitaire scenarios, which is the key right here, because this is what's gonna drive me. I'll probably never get to play this with two players, so you know, the two-player scenario, this is about the only time I'll kind of thumb through it, and that'll be it. All right, and then the solitaire. So, of course, this is, I think there's 15 different solitaire scenarios in here, which is more than enough for me. Um, if you think about the number of scenarios that are usually part of, you know, GMT games, usually you get three or four or whatever, but this has a ton of stuff. And there's a lot to digest here. No doubt about that. So, we're going to have a lot to go through. Now, here we have some thinner boards. This is a board of the North, North Sea here, and then also the Norwegian Sea. So, that's going to be kind of, I'm guessing, a, an add-on. And then we have player aids here. So, this looks like the German force pool schedule for the campaign game. And then the campaign player aid here. The British Force Pool Schedule Campaign and the Player Aid. The German Task Force Display. One-sided, the British Task Force Display. One-sided. And then the Advanced Battle Rules Player Aid, which is really important. These games are so important when it comes to player aids here. So we have a lot of those here. This is all for the Advanced Battle Rules. And then the Atlantic Chase, two player aids here with hopefully everything I need to remember to play. And hopefully it's nice and uh, memory jogging and I could just play from this like you usually do in regards to these types of games. So here's hoping. All right, componentry wise now, we've got the usual medium thin cardboard that'll come out to be your chits here. So we got those, there's your back sides, more of them and the back sides. And then, <clears throat> finally get into our board and our wooden bits, etc. So let's take a look at the wooden bits first. Now, I know people were talking about, you know, whether the second printing 
did or didn't fix the idea of these little hash marks on just one side. Looks like it did not. So you still just have those hash marks or little lines, or whatever, on one side. So I'm going to put those into some a Plano trays to help with that. But these all look like good, nice quality wooden components. All right. And a bunch of different colors with what I'm going to guess is probably a bag of spares, hopefully. That way we don't have to worry about missing some stuff. We've got our little insert in here. <clears throat> and then let's take a look at the big board. And that'll about do it. All right. Now this board is nice quality. It does have a matte finish, a little texture on it. This looks like it's gonna be nice and big as they usually are. GMT, hopefully not too overwhelmingly large. Okay, so you've got four folds here. So it is pretty large, but it'll fit nicely in the middle of the table. And at least it seems like it is, you know, horizontally oriented, which I really am hopeful. That means that I'll be able to sit on one side of the table and not, not like when it's vertically orient, oriented and I have to look at everything going the opposite direction because that's sort of annoying when you're a solo player. So that's what it looks like we got here. Plenty of information kind of laid out on the board with regards to tables and such. So very cool. All right, it's going to be a while for me to learn this one, but I am looking forward to digging in. And once I finally dig in and get deep into it, hopefully I'll be able to give you guys my solo thoughts on it. All right. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Whatever you decide to play in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Here's the dice. Forgot to do that. Take it easy now.